Hello, it's me, Mr. Mustafa. Welcome to my geography class. Today, we can discuss periodic winds. That is the definition of periodic winds. What are the different types of periodic winds? The factors responsible for the formation of periodic winds. And uh, how do they influence the climate of the region through which they blow? Periodic winds are the winds that repeat at regular intervals of time. The intervals of time can be a season or a period of day and night. So it is clear that the periodic winds are the winds that repeat at regular intervals of time. And that regular intervals of time can be either seasonal or diurnal. Seasonal meaning when season changes, the direction of the wind changes. For example, Suppose the wind is blowing like this, wind is blowing towards this direction during summer, its direction will change or what reverses when the season changes, that meaning when the summer gives way to winter, that is what is seasonal or it can be diurnal, diurnal meaning a period of a day and night. That meaning, if the wind is blowing towards this direction during daytime and night, the direction of the wind would be what a reverse. That is what a diurnal meaning. An example for seasonal wind is monsoon winds. And this monsoon wind can be classified into two. One is, you know, that as southwest monsoon winds. The other one is northeast monsoon winds. So, south west monsoon winds, northeast monsoon winds are the example for periodic winds of the category seasonal. Diurnal, that meaning when day changes, when night changes, the direction of the wind changes. An example are one is you know the land breeze and sea breeze. Land breeze and sea breeze. The other one is mountain breeze and valley breeze. Mountain breeze and valley breeze are the example for periodic winds of a diurnal in nature. Let us discuss periodic winds one by one. The first one is monsoon winds. Monsoon winds are the winds that change direction in accordance with the changing season. That means season changes, direction of the wind changes. So the word monsoon is derived from the Arabic word mausam. The meaning of the word mausam is season. Winds that changes direction in accordance with the changing season is monsoon winds. That means for example summer, the monsoon winds are what are blowing this direction. Winter, the direction of the flow is what are reversed. So, monsoon is the seasonal reversal of the wind in an year. That meaning in an year, when season changes, the direction of the wind reverses. That is what a monsoon wind. And it was Hippalus, an Arab scholar, who first observed this shift or change in the direction of the wind, especially in the Indian Ocean. So, let us see the three factors responsible for the formation of monsoon winds. The factors responsible for the formation of monsoon winds are the first one apparent movement of the sun, second one Coriolis force and the third one differences in heating. Let us see these three factors. The first one is apparent movement of the sun. Apparent movement of the sun is what illustrated here. Apparent movement of the sun meaning sun shifts between Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. And this migration of the sun between Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Capricorn is called what? Apparent movement of the sun. We know that a six month the sun is over the northern hemisphere. Then temperature is very high here. Then it is what? Uh, summer in the northern hemisphere. At the same time it is what? Winter in the southern hemisphere. And it is their apparent movement of the sun that causes season. And the second one is Coriolis force. As per that Coriolis force, we know that any freely moving body will deflect 
to its right in the northern hemisphere to its left in the southern hemisphere for example in the northern hemisphere if it is moving like this it will be deflected to its uh, right and in the southern hemisphere if it is moving like this it will be deflected to its left and that is what the coriolis force and third one is the differences in heating there are differences in heating for example if the same amount of solar energy is received by land and water body same amount of solar energy is received but that heating is different that means land will get heated quickly land will get cooled quickly but water will take time to heat up and water will take time to cool down this is what we say what are differences in heating or differential heating of water is more monsoon winds can be classified into two southwest monsoon winds and northeast monsoon winds let us see the first one southwest monsoon winds look at the figure where southwest monsoon winds are illustrated and it is summer and high pressure is formed over indian ocean from that high pressure wind is blowing that is wind is blowing from south east to north west and crossing the equator that wind deflects to its right due to coriolis force and blowing from southwest direction that wind is called a southwest monsoon wind during summer when sun is in the northern hemisphere we know that the sun is in the northern hemisphere from march to september so during summer when the sun is in the northern hemisphere sun rays falls vertically to the north of the equator equator is here and sun rays falls vertically to the north of the equator due to the tilt of the earth we know that uh, earth is tilted and earth is tilted at an angular distance of 40 to 23 and half a degree we know and due to the tilt of the axis of the earth the sun rays falls vertically to the north of the equator during summer then what happens you know that due to this uh, what the vertical falling of sun rays the temperature is very high so high temperature is what experience in the northern hemisphere especially over the land area in the northern hemisphere and as a result all pressure belt will shift slightly towards north from their original position for example here it may be what uh, up to 10 degree uh, north 10 degree latitude north then it may be what 15 and from here you know 30 it may be what 35 so all pressure belt will shift from their original uh, position towards slightly towards north all pressure belt shifts towards north then here this is the zone we say what uh, intertropical convergent zone this is the place where what uh, south east trade wind north east trade wind converge so that intertropical convergent zone also shifts uh, northward and it is because of what uh, apparent movement of the sun this happens then what happens you know that here southern hemisphere this large water body is there indian ocean high pressure is intensified but here asia mainland is the land the low pressure is intensified here it is the subtropical high pressure belt from this subtropical high pressure belt a planetary wind is blowing towards a equatorial low pressure belt and this planetary wind is called a trade wind water trade wind southeast trade wind and here during summer summer is in the northern hemisphere so here southern hemisphere it is what winter so this what uh, southeast trade wind is intensified became very strong and it is blowing over that indian ocean and crossing the equator it crosses the equator when it crosses the equator it uh, gets deflected to its right due to coriolis force here it is you know deflecting towards the right due to what the coriolis force and here temperature is very high or the temperature increases along the region through which a tropic of cancer passes and here this wind is blowing 
and here in fact this uh, south east trade wind of the southern hemisphere blowing from subtropical high pressure belt after crossing the equator get deflected to its uh, right and blowing from the direction of uh, southwest and this wind is uh, transformed into southwest monsoon winds understood the southeast trade wind of southern hemisphere is after crossing the equator transformed into southwest monsoon winds and here you know that the wind is very strong very powerful that gives us what a rainfall because here the large asian land mass is there continent is there very strong low pressure is formed over that uh, land masses and this very strong low pressure pulls the wind or a very strong vacuum is created that vacuum is what pulling the wind blowing from the sea towards the land and this wind is called what a south west monsoon winds it is blowing from indian ocean to asian main land and this is what one category south west monsoon winds and next one is north east monsoon winds look at the figure where north east monsoon winds are illustrated it is blowing from asia land mass which is high pressure zone to indian ocean which is the low pressure zone during winter so north east monsoon winds during winter that is a uh, winter in the northern hemisphere when it is uh, winter in the northern hemisphere it is summer in the southern hemisphere and here very strong high pressure is formed over asia asian land mass and over the indian ocean here in the southern hemisphere low pressure is formed because high temperature is here here what temperature is very less because sun is in the southern hemisphere and there pressure difference is there then the planetary wind which is blowing from which is blowing from subtropical high pressure belt in the northern hemisphere to equatorial low pressure belt and this planetary wind is called northeast trade wind and this northeast trade wind get strengthened and blowing very heavily towards the equatorial region and this wind is called northeast monsoon wind land breeze and sea breeze are the two winds which are seen in the coastal area they are formed due to the uneven heating of land and adjacent water body that is the sea land breeze and sea breeze you look at the figure land breeze look at the illustration where you can see land breeze is the wind which is blowing from land to sea and it is night and it is a high pressure over the land and low pressure over the sea so land breeze land and sea land heats up cools down quickly whereas sea heats up and cools down very slowly there is differences in heating and during night when it is a night we know that land cools down faster at the same time sea is warmer when land cools down quickly here the high pressure is formed high pressure over the land but whereas sea is comparatively warmer so what low pressure and we know that the movement of the air is always from high pressure to low pressure and this horizontal movement of the air from high pressure to low pressure is called what wind it is a wind and what is this wind this wind is land breeze because we know that uh, names are given to the wind on the basis of the direction from which they flow now it is a blowing from it is a flowing from land to sea and it is called a land breeze and this land breeze begins in the coastal area land breeze begins at night high pressure over the land and it is intensified it becomes very strong in the morning early morning dawn and uh, it stops it ceases with the sunrise 
it stops with the sunrise look at the illustration sea breeze is the wind which is blowing from sea to land from the illustration it is clear that it is a day time and high pressure is over the sea and low pressure is over the land sea breeze during day time here the air particles on the land is heated then that heated air is what that uh, moving upward so that heated air is what uh, expanding its density decreases then it is what uh, vertical or uprising is there and as a result here it is low pressure is formed more air is what uh, left this area so the weight of the air is very less here and the weight of the air is called what that pressure so here it is low pressure at the same time during day time the adjacent body of water sea is cooler and here it is over the sea high pressure then a wind is blowing from high pressure over the sea to low pressure over the land and this wind which is blowing from sea to land is called a sea breeze because names are given on the basis of the direction from which it is blowing it is blowing from sea it is called what a sea breeze and there is sea breeze blowing during day time because of there are differences in temperature due to differences in heating mountain breeze and valley breeze are the two winds which are experienced in mountainous regions that are well above the sea level now let us see mountain breeze and valley breeze first mountain breeze look at the illustration it is mountain breeze blowing from mountain top to the valley and it is night mountain breeze during night the air in the mountain top so air in the mountainous region cools the down due to what intense cold condition here and that valley is what a less cold so here the air is very cold and we know that cold air is what a dense and dense air exerts more weight or pressure so that a dense air is blowing down sliding down blowing down from the mountain top to the valley during night so the wind which is blowing from mountain top to the valley during night is called the mountain breeze look at the illustration valley breeze it is day time the wind is blowing from the valley to the up slopes valley breeze during day time air in the mountains gets heated up then rises up this is what is happening on mountain top during day time air gets uh, heated up and rises up then here you know the comparatively what a low pressure is formed and here that cold wind from the valley is what a blowing up and it is blowing up slopes of the mountain from the valley so this wind is called what a valley breeze which is blowing from valley up slopes of the mountain during day time and this wind is called a valley breeze which is blowing during day time that's all for today thank you for watching me